The United States women's national soccer team won the World Cup championship and got their revenge on Japan. For veterans like Abby Wambach and Christy Rampone, who announced that this would be their last World Cup, it was a great moment to witness. The United States defeated Japan 5-2, and even more impressive was that the United States scored four goals in the first 16 minutes of play. Carly Lloyd got the first ever hat trick, scoring three goals in World Cup final history. Japan scored their first goal right before halftime, and their second goal was actually an own goal off the head of Julie Johnston that goalie Hope Solo couldn't keep out. The United States made soccer history this weekend in so many ways, starting with Christy Rampone becoming the first 40-year-old to play in a World Cup game, and it's the last tie to the 1999 championship team. The United States became the first nation to win three World Cups in 1991, 1999, and now 2015, and Carly Lloyd became the first American to win the Golden Ball Award since 1991 for her six goals and one assist in the tournament. She's the first person ever, man or woman, to score a hat trick in the final, let alone do it in 16 minutes with one of those goals from midfield. Hope Solo won the Golden Glove Award for her outstanding goalkeeping performance, and Abby Wambach finally got the elusive title she had been missing through her outstanding career. Congratulations to the world champion U.S. team. NASCAR was at Daytona International Speedway this weekend, and Dale Earnhardt Jr. came away with the victory. However, the big news today is more about the crazy crash that Austin Dillon endured. Dillon's car was literally flung in the air, did a barrel roll, and smashed into the catch fence, ripping a 60-foot hole in the fence. Dylan's car was ripped to pieces. Amazingly, he only suffered a bruised tailbone and bruised forearm. Some fans were treated for undisclosed injuries. The Prump Connie Mac baseball season is over for the 16U team. Their final record was 4-17. However, the 14U team still has a chance at making it to the playoffs, which start July 20th. They ended with a record of 8-11. This has been Weekend Sports. I'm Courtney Salmon with News 46.